Welcome to the short video. My name is Michelle Network and in this video I'm going to show you step by step on how to set up your Polis Masternode and earn immediately passive income. During this one and a half years I could accumulate over 10 Polis Masternodes which are giving me a passive income actually around $380 monthly. My goal is for sure to keep building and increasing my Polis Masternodes. It's just amazing because you keep your coins in your wallet and you can withdraw your coins or all your coins anytime you want. In short words, you are your own bank. But before I'm going to show you step by step on how to start your Masternodes, I'm going to explain you what a Masternode is. A Masternode is simply a cryptocurrency full node or a computer wallet that keeps the full copy of the blockchain in real time. Masternodes have special functions like instant private send or the decentralized governance. Masternodes are very useful for crypto investors because of running a Masternode you are incentivized. Consider it just like earning a monthly or weekly interest on your crypto holdings. Alright, so are you ready to set up your Masternode and earn passive income? If yes, Okay, then let's go and start with the step number one. All right, so let us start with step number one. Download the wallet of Polis. It's really important to go here on uh, polispay.org slash home and then here on individuals and downloads. You need to click here once on downloads and then it shows up the new site and you can download the wallet here. So if you have Windows, you need to click here on the uh, source code of uh, Windows 64 or if you have Mac or Linux, you need to change it here and download it. So if you have Windows, you click once on Windows 64 bit. Then you see here on the left side that it's actually downloading the Polis Pay wallet. So actually we see here Polis Core 1.5.3. Actually we need to open it. We click here once and here are bin include lib and share. So actually you need to click here on bin. And then you see here Polis CLI, Polis X, Polis QT, Polis TX or test Polis. We need Polis QT X. The best thing to do is that you need to copy this uh, Polis QT X and put it on, on, on your desktop. All right, perfectly. Then you do a uh, double click and open the wallet. Perfect, after you did this, the wallet will open and it needs to synchronize. So let it synchronize until the end. And now it's really important that we buy the Polis coins on the exchange. So let us make step number two. Step number two is you go to the exchange, you register on Crex24, for example. Under this video, you will find the link to register for free. And you need once to click on uh, account because you need to fill it or deposit first Bitcoin. So if you don't know uh, to where to find Bitcoins, you click here on BTC and then you see here uh, once BTC and you have the possibility here to deposit or withdraw. Uh, by the way, uh, if you want to deposit, you click here once on deposit and this is the address where you need to send your bitcoins. Actually Polis costs around 0.08 bitcoins so you need to send these 0.08 bitcoins to buy the Polis Masternodes. If you want to buy more Polis Masternodes you need to send for sure more bitcoins. After the bitcoins arrived and you see this here available for example 0.08 we need to go to markets first of all and if you don't find Polis, we see here the instruments, you click here and uh, type in Polis for example, you click here once and you see here the people that want to buy Polis and the people that actually are selling Polis. So we need minimum to buy 1000 Polis, uh, Polis to run a masternode. So for example, you click here and you can buy directly 1096 Polis and um, for, for a price of 0 0.0843 Bitcoins. After you bought the Polis coins, you need to go to our account and for sure you need to click here and type in Polis. Let's show the zero balances as well because I have no balance actually for Polis and you need to type in here withdraw and the address. So by the way, you need to open your wallet and create here an address and we click here once on receive. And after you bought the coins, for sure, you need to send your coins to your Polis wallet. So actually, we click once on receive and then here on request payment once. If you click here once, uh, so you see here the address. So actually, we click here on copy address and we go back to Crex24 and we need to insert the address what we actually copied and the sum. So for example, if you have 1,100 or 2,000 Polis, you need to type in here 1,100 Polis or 2,000, doesn't matter, and withdraw the coins or send the coins to your wallet. 
And now comes the interesting part because you transferred the Polis coins into your wallet and we need to make um, a payment to yourself. So how does it work? So first of all, we need to click here on receive and uh, here we fill in the label with masternode one, for example, and the amount need to be exactly 1000. So what happens? We click here the amount thousand and we request the payment. And so this is the actually the address um, where we need to send 1000 polis. So we copy the address once and after that we click here on send. Uh, if you don't see here the coin control features, you need to go to settings and then options. And after that you click once on wallet and please enable the coin control features and the master note tab. So if, if it's blank over here, you need to make this and that twice and okay, click on OK and restart your wallet. So after you did this, um, you need to pay two. So for example, this address what we actually copied. Here's the label master node one and we need to send exactly 1000 polis. So what happens? Uh, we go to inputs once and we see here all the selected coins actually because these are the thousand what are locked into my master nodes and these are the free coins actually so these are 1124 so but we click once on ok and we need to send exactly 1000 coins so after you did this you click here once on send you need to enter the passphrase And after that, send this 1000 polis to yourself. So as you can see, we did the payment to ourselves, And now comes the more interesting part because we need to generate the outputs. And I will show you this, how this works step by step. So the next step is now to go to tools and after that debug console. And we type in here masternode outputs. We click once on enter and now we see the generated output what we need to insert into the masternode hosting platform and I will show you this how it works step by step. And now this is the new generated output uh, starts with BA and ends with FE. So actually we need to copy this and we need to go to the crypto self-made hosting platform in order to connect the Polis masternode with the hosting and with the server. So now you are here on the Crypto Selfmade hosting platform. Under this video, you will find the link to register on our Crypto Selfmade hosting platform in order to start your masternodes. And the first thing is to activate your Telegram bot. So by the way, you need to go to and click on this icon. And after that, you need to click on notifications. You need to have the Telegram bot in order to receive the configuration file in order to start your masternode. And actually, you need to activate now here your Telegram bot. After you activated your Telegram bot, it's really, really important to go to Finance. So, and now we are here on the tab Finance, and it's really, really important that you buy some credits in order to start your masternode. And you need credits to activate your masternode for 30 days. So, one credit is actually the activation of 30 days of a masternode with monitoring and chat support. After you bought the credits, it's really, really important that we go to the tab Masternodes. And now it's really important that we scroll down and we see here the masternode output. So output and IDX and you can select here your coin. So um, we did generate the, the output and the IDX a few seconds or for a few minutes ago. So we go back to our Polis wallet and this is actually the output what we need to copy. So we copy this completely and we go back to our crypto self-made hosting platform. And what we've copied actually, we need to insert it here. So perfect, we did this. So the IDX is in my case now one. So we need to insert here one and select the coin. So actually we want to host a Polis master node. So we click here once on Polis. And after that, we click here once on submit. Perfect, in the next minutes or in the next hours, we're receiving a config file from our tech guy and we need to insert this. And I will show you how it works step by step. All right, now, as you can see on the left side of my screen, I have received the config file and the BLS key. I will show you now in the next minutes how to insert it and how to start your master node. So first of all, we need to copy this from MN1087 up to uh, F6 and this one here. We copy this completely and the next step is to open our Polis wallet. So we open that. And we need to go to tools first of all and then open masternode configuration file. 
After that, you see that I have some massive config files inserted here, and I need to uh, insert this under this MN1039. So actually, I am insert this, and you see here MN1087 up to F6, and then one uh, STIDX at the end. So actually, we need to save this and close it. And you need as well to close your wallet. And now we are nearly finished. The next thing what we need to do is we need to install the deterministic master node. And for sure you see here we receive the BLS key. And this BLS key actually we need to copy that. We copy the select text and we need we need to go to the platform polisnode.io. So actually we need to insert this what we actually copy it. And after that we need to insert the transaction ID and the IDX what we generated for the 1000 uh, polis what we've sent the output so actually we need to copy the select text over here and uh, we need to insert this here this is the transaction um, ID and we need to give in here the index so actually we go back and we see here the index is 1 so actually we need to put in here 1 and now we need to go to the Telegram bot as well and we need to copy the IP address. So actually we need to copy the IP address starts from 80 and ending with 23 without the 24,126. So actually I copy this once perfectly and we need to insert this here. So perfect and now we click once on continue. So we are here on the next side and for sure we need to copy this, get new address, we need to do this twice and these are the new payout uh, addresses what we need to insert it here. So actually we need to open our Polis wallet and we need to go to tools first of all and after that uh, we need to go to debug console. So what we actually copied, get new address, we need to do this twice. So this is the first one and this is the second one. So we actually have two addresses. And I copy the first address over here and I need to insert the first address here. I go back into my debug console and I need to insert or copy, better saying, copy the, the address here and insert the address over here. After that, it's really important the A3. So we need to select an address on list on spend. So list on spend, actually, we need to copy it. We need to go back and open our debug console again. So we click here on list on spend and we see over here we have um, yeah this address over here with 124 because it, we need at least 0 0.05 polis uh, on, on, on our address. So we copy this once, we go back over here on the polis nodes platform and we um, insert this address over here. We click once on continue after we did this. So actually, we need to unlock our wallet. We need to go back. So we go settings, unlock wallet. So actually, I need to unlock my wallet before we move move ahead. So we go back to polisnotes.io. So and now we need to copy this ProTX register up to uh, VMES completely. So actually, we copy this and we need to go to our debug console. So I'm actually I'm in my debug console and I insert everything what I have or what I copied actually from the Polis Nodes IO site. So actually we see here the TX. So actually we need to copy everything here from 03 to 00, 00 over here and I need to copy that. So this is the TX what I need to insert in B3. So actually I insert everything over here. We need to go back to our debug console because now we need to make B4 and actually this is the collateral address, the PV up to CH. So I copy this once and I insert this now in B4. Now I need to go back to my debug console and copy here the sign message field starting from PD to 8A. So actually I copy this once and I need to fill in this or insert this in B5. So actually I do this once and I click on continue. Perfectly. So now we are here on C1. Now we need to uh, copy the sign message here up to 8A and I need to paste it in the console, in the debug console. Actually we need to open Polis, the Polis wallet again and we insert everything what we have here in sign message up to 8A here in the debug console. 
So actually we get here a response from the debug console and we need to copy this IC up to U here. I need to copy everything and insert this in C2. So actually I paste it in here and I click on continue. So actually it's really important the ProTix register here up to you. I need to copy everything and I need to go to the debug console again and I insert this over here and click on enter. So actually I did a payment to myself again. So actually this is here the, the TX actually I need to click on continue and you see over here congratulations your master node is now registered and will appear on the determinic mystic master node list after the transaction is minted to a block okay that's it thanks for watching this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and re what's really really important is every time you host a master node on crypto self made from polis and you buy the polis coins on the exchange you will get 25 polis as a bonus what is to do to get this exclusive bonus each time you buy a Polis Masternode? Number one, you need to buy the Polis coins on the exchange. You need to host Polis on Crypto Selfmade. Send us the screenshots of the purchase plus screenshot of the withdrawal from the exchange to the wallet. Number five, plus your screenshots from the Masternode tab that is enabled. Plus for sure your Polis receiving address. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. I'm out. Mechanical Network here. I wish you the best. Bye bye.